Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, Station is ready for the event. Fox Business News, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. We are ready to speak with you. We have you loud and clear, Fox. I'm joined right now by NASA astronauts and Expedition 39 flight engineers. Joining us right now from the International Space Station is Rick Rick Mastrakio and Steve Swanson. Gentlemen, you are coming to us from the International Space Station. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. It's our pleasure. Thank you. I mean, you're, you're coming to us from the space station right now. I, I've got to just start the interview and tell us how it feels. What, what does it feel like where you are right now? Yeah, uh, well, we're not near a window right now. I can't look out the window to see where we are over the Earth, but you're right. We're coming from the International Space Station. We're circling the Earth about 250, 260 miles above the Earth, traveling at five miles a second. Right now, we're located in the U.S. laboratory. This is where we're doing a lot of research and uh, development in this area here on the U.S. side. And how was the trip there? Can you give us a sense of what you've been experiencing? Uh, the trip here was a little eventful for me. It's supposed to be a six-hour flight and a Soyuz vehicle from, taking off from uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, I had a little issue on it. It ended up being a two-day flight, which wasn't bad, just a little more time in the vehicle. But since we've got here, we've been uh, having a great time doing research, keeping the station going. And, and what kind of research are you doing? What are you learning? Well, we've got all kinds of research going on up here. You know, some of the things that we've been doing, uh, we had a cargo ship come up a couple of weeks ago, and, of course, it brings up a whole series of experiments, and that ship will then return with the samples and the results of those experiments. So what we do up here is we're kind of the operators. We work with the scientists and the engineers on the ground, and we're the ones who execute their experiments. Uh, for example, right here at our feet, we got some plants growing. Uh, these plants, they're trying to see how the gravitation, the, the zero G, the weightless, affects the, uh, the roots, which way they go. Uh, we're also working on, uh, you know, we have different kinds of antibiotics that they're looking at up here. Uh, when we're up here in zero G, our immune system is kind of suppressed, so we can't fight uh, the, uh, the uh, bacteria, the bugs, as much as we can on the earth. And the uh, bacteria is actually very strong up here. So uh, we're basically doing research on new antibiotics, trying to fight these superbugs, of course, which has direct applications uh, for folks on the earth. Gentlemen, let me ask you about the future of, uh, of Space uh, Shuttle. I mean, given the Space Shuttle's retirement, we know that the U.S. pays Russia, what, $71 million a seat to fly astronauts to the station. Um, your, your current uh, mission, obviously, uh, ha- has the both of you among uh, that six-person crew. But what should we be thinking about in terms of the future of, of uh, these trips, given the retirement? That's a good question. We're working hard on getting uh, another vehicle from NASA to take us up here. Uh, estimated right now, that will be delivered around 2017. Uh, we're hoping it sure is. We, as astronauts, would love to get launched from the U.S. We're looking forward to that day. And uh, we're hoping, uh, you know, as long as we get the funding and the, the things go smoothly, we should be there in 2017. So, so you don't worry about uh, the future, given the relationship between the U.S. and Russia. Uh, we, we won't be having that funding from Russia. Is that right? Well, you know, there's a couple couple of answers for that question. You know, first of all, our relationship with Russia, you know, we're, we uh, up here, we don't have any politics. You know, we're all crewmates. We have Russian crewmates. We have a Japanese crewmate. We have the U.S. Uh, crew, me- crew members up here. We get along great up here. As far as the future goes, I think the future is, is pretty uh, going to be a very interesting because we have both commercial companies building vehicles that are going to launch out of the United States. And we got NASA, NASA's Orion program that's also going to launch a vehicle beyond low Earth orbit. So until those vehicles come online, 
mind, of course, we are going to be relying on the Russians and the Soyuz vehicle to get up here to the space station. Yeah, I think that's a great point. I mean, you know, we, we've been reporting uh, a lot on SpaceX. Of course, Elon Musk, uh, he, he wants uh, SpaceX to replace uh, Russia as NASA's space station transport. What's your take on how this develops as we see more and more commercial business uh, going into space? Uh, of course, we spoke with Richard Branson, who's doing the same thing. How do you see this evolving? Uh, we think it's a wonderful thing. I mean, the more people and the more opportunity to get into space, it's it just uh, it's great for our nation. It's great for the, the Earth. And uh, we're looking forward to it. And I hope it all works out. I guess I was reading uh, one story earlier, which really was amazing, that you, you've got a greenhouse there growing lettuce. Uh, what kind of uh, things do you have in, in that regard in terms of, uh, uh, let, me, let me show you what we're, we're talking about, the International Space Station's vegetable production system uh, could give uh, you your first taste of space-grown lettuce, is that right? Well, we just installed it today, and I just put, uh, I guess I'd say I planted the lettuce today. It was, uh, it was a fun experiment, and got it going. Hopefully, in a few weeks, we'll have lettuce growing. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get to eat it because we have to take it and do uh, a science on it and measure all sorts of things about it and uh, measure the uh, microbial contents and all these things. So it's not for us to eat yet. However, if there's any left over, we might get a little bite. <laughs> That is just terrific. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us and for your uh, courage and, and hard work. NASA astronauts Rick Mastrocchio and Steve Swanson joining us there from the International Space Station. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Fox Business News. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.